Our next question asks us, what is an angle of depression? So this is a little bit of trig and basically what an angle of depression is, always think of it when you're kind of like looking down on something. So when you're on a high surface and are high, like for example, um, a mathematic example could be like you're at the top of a building and you look down. So that angle of which you look down kind of at is your angle of depression. So I'm just going to draw it out. So that is your horizontal. So that is the observer's eye, the horizontal, the line of sight, and the object. So for example, you're standing at the top of a building and you're asked to look down at the, a traffic light or a cab. The cab will be the object, you at the top will be the observer's eye, that's your horizontal, and that will be your line of sight going right across. Now the angle of depression is actually over here. It's the angle between the horizontal and your object or line of sight. So it's the angle between that. Just from the surface down to the object. Sorry, from the horizontal down. Horizontal. So that is your angle of depression. Now, if you were to ever calculate, now that was just theoretical, you're asked in a math question or a sample problem, um, that you're sitting on top of a building, look down, you see a car or something specific, that is your angle of depression. How you actually calculate it is like how you calculate a simple triangle. So, I'm just going to copy the same diagram it was before, and we're just going to attach a line. And we can clearly see that there is a 90 degree angle right here, or 90 degrees right there. This is our angle that we're looking from. And if we were to ever um, kind of solve for either sides, if you're standing over here, right, this is your adjacent, so I'm just going to highlight. This would be your adjacent. And this would be your opposite. Okay. 
and to solve for those, we would just use Sokotoa. So, so, okay. so, so Sokotoa, if you guys don't know, um, this is sine opposite over hypotenuse. This is cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is tan. And this is opposite over adjacent. So that's a really nice way of memorizing this if you ever want to. said here tan of your angle so the angle of depression is equal to opposite over adjacent not in the so you can calculate the angle of depression if you have your opposite or uh, opposite and adjacent, sorry. And going back to the...